both Devin and Camille are in Vegas. And based on one of Devin's most recent videos, he isn't sounding too confident. Tune in, Armors. I'm gonna crack Camille. Well, I don't know if I am actually. Let's get savage. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Savage On Wrestling. Camille Jablonski and Devin Larratt have a super match, left-handed arm wars, scheduled. And Devin recently posted a video giving us uh, a little uneasy feeling about how things are going to go. Thanks. I'm feeling it from, uh, from Pablo. That was an awesome match. Uh, bit sore, bit sore on the inside. I wanted to make it fair so that Everybody's like, well, he just had a super match. Well, yeah, I know he has one of It's a couple days, whatever. Pablo is tough, man. I feel it. I feel it. So first, let's take a moment and take a look at Devin's match with Pablo and then Camille's match with Cody before we talk about the matchup between the two. So, Pablo and Devin had a best of five match. Uh, Devin did come out victorious on a 3-1, but... Devin did show one significant, give one significant position to Pablo that said a lot. Um, specifically round one, Devin opened up with his <laughs> open top roll um, and they both got caught in the middle and Pablo did a slow transition to a flop wrist press and was able to secure his shoulder and he was able to press Devin to the pad. Now. Devin did recover from this, and he did execute the rest of the rounds a lot more safe. Um, he cupped a lot more, and he hit pushing Pablo outside of his shoulder, preventing Pablo from being able to do this in the later rounds. Round one um, is why I suspect his elbow is hurting. That's a really difficult position to be in, and applying a lot of side pressure. Um, let's just hope that he's recovered enough uh, before he has his match with Camille. He's going to need it. Um, now, Camille and Cody. Um, <laughs> Camille and Cody's match was, uh, was 3-0. Uh, Camille, Camille showed just how strong his left hand is. Now, my only, the only way you can look at it is, execution-wise, Cody Merritt applied the correct tactics all of them except for one. And that's nothing against Cody. Um, it's just some people are able to pull fast and some people are some people are slow pullers off the go. A big a big thing that you could need a lot of the times when competing with a presser and a floppers presser is speed. The speed to be able to push them outside of their shoulder right after the go so they don't have the ability to commit their shoulder behind their hand and secure the position to be able to press with everything they have. So round one, uh, Cody sets up real high and he hits that real nice nice little um, high cup going for a top roll but that doesn't mean a lot when you're, you take the hand and Camille's just trying to give it to you and Camille right off the go commits the shoulder and he presses through I hate to say it but Camille made it look quite easy pressing through Cody Merritt um, now in round two Cody tries the second tactic um, against uh, a floppers presser is you block the palm preventing them from giving you the wrist um, and forcing you into that flop position because most of them who try to um, get the strap they flop into the strap as well um, so Cody tries to block the hand, preventing Camille from flopping, and he cups real hard, um, but Camille is a presser. Um, he can press flop, and he can press in a hook. And the moment he feels Cody cup in on him, he immediately switches from like trying to flop out to straight pressing Cody Merritt right off the pad. Um, Cody looked really good at this match. I, you need to watch it. Knuckles up to, um, you need to watch the match. The match was great. The match, um, well, all of Knuckles up was great. Um, 
You can also watch, uh, I have the link for Pablo and Devin's match in the description. I also have the link to the pay-per-view at Knuckles Up 2. It, both are very good matches, and I suggest you watch both of them. And plus, Knuckles Up 2 has a lot of, lot of great matches on it. Um, but now, talking about Devin and Camille. Uh, what is Devin going to need? Devin's going to need speed. I do not think that Devin's going to have enough cup, and I don't know if Devin's going to be able to hold Camille in that committed um, King's move, and Camille being in that committed flop wrist press. The only thing that could have happened with his match with Pablo is he gave Pablo a little bit too much. Devin is known for that. Um, he'll play with people a little bit too much, give them a little bit too much. Um, I think he was in a very similar situation when he arm wrestled Wagner Bordelotto back in WAL. Um, he gave Wagner a little bit too much, and Wagner was able to actually secure a floppers press. And the match did end 3-1, very similar to this match with Pablo. Now, <laughs> we could also end up seeing a wild and crazy re-imaging of the old Jerry Cataret and Michael Todd match where one person goes straight to a flop wrist press and the other one goes straight to a full king's move and they battle it out forever until the strap almost breaks. Um, that would be the best case scenario and that would be what I would love to see but I do not think that's going to be the case. Um, the factors that you need to beat the flop wrist press are speed, cupping, and side pressure. Um, speed and side pressure to be able to beat the shoulder line. Um, the side pressure to stop them if they do get their shoulder line, much like Toddzilla did at his uh, East vs. West match. And cupping. Uh, to be able to take all of their pronation and preventing them from being able to have that um, it's another piece of that shoulder commitment, um, but will Devin be able to beat Camille off the go? <sighs> I hate to say it this time, but I do not think Devin will win this match. I don't think it will be close. I think that Devin might be able to pull one off, um, but I see this being very a very easy match for Camille, and Camille looking really good against Devin. The only the only chance I see for Devin is if Devin is able to get Camille into a defensive position and bleed him. I do not think that Camille is experienced enough in super matches against an athlete like Devin to where he will not fight. I think he would fight and he would tank his arm and his pronation, preventing him from being able to hit his press at his highest quality, a very good quality press in the later rounds, and Devin would be able to secure a win, but I don't see it happening. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, do you think Devin's going to be able to pull this one off? Do you think Camille's going to win? Do you think it's going to be close, or do you think it's just going to be a complete blowout? Uh, <laughs> you guys let me know. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Arm Wars, Knuckles Up, East vs. West, everything is great right now. Everything is... We are being blessed. And I can't forget about King of the Table. Uh, you guys, you stay savage.